Welcome back to Shapers Insider and our annual review. So not only is Dubai World Cup an extravaganza of sport and entertainment, but it's also a real celebration of fashion. And let me tell you, the style stakes are taken pretty seriously. We're going to look back now at the fashion on the field from last year to gear you up for this year's event, which takes place at the end of March. World's racing community and every fashionista and their fascinator celebrated 20 years of Dubai World Cup. With $30 million in prize money, it's the biggest event on the global horse racing calendar. That's for both equestrians and fashion fillies. Meet some of the trendsetters competing in the style stakes. I'm Miss Lucy and I'm entering now the competition for the best head and best dressed lady. Well, I got my hair from Bergemont Center. It's actually from um, Handmade in London. The concept was to um, do something that's bikery because everyone here is like really girly and floral. So I thought I'll do something a bit like rugged. Over 50,000 stylish racegoers attended the event and hundreds strutted their stuff on the catwalk to be crowned best dressed lady, gent, most stylish couple and have most creative fascinator or hat. And with the prices including a Jaguar F-Type Coupe, luxury packages, long jeans watches and pampering sessions, the international style set jetted in for the event. That's absolutely incredible. I didn't know you were a milliner. So tell us, what is the sort of inspiration behind this piece and what do you normally, what looks do you normally create? Um, it's normally about organic shapes and colours from nature. Um, it's really spiral shells and sort of things like that. So um, yeah, the colours are in this season, the pastel, um, lovely light blues, pinks, um, greens. So. So the races are traditionally about an understated style and appropriateness, but right here in Dubai, I think it's more about glamour and fun. We caught up with the judges to find out what it takes to create an original look that really wows the panel. This is what happened at the Style Stakes. This year's panel included Tala Samam, Nicola Gibson, Dom Bagnato and Alanud Badra. And this is what it takes to make the cut. What are you looking for in terms of appropriateness, in terms of trends that you'd like to see on the style stakes this year? Well, you know, because it's a horse race, I feel like one should be dressed really elegantly, but also creative enough and very to own the dress, actually, something that's, that's very personal to them, to show their character and stuff. I'm really, I'm really tempted to see how far they go. Well, obviously, on a day like today, you know, it has to be appropriate, but I, what I'm really hoping to see is uh, guys really uh, taking a creative approach. Uh, exploring maybe uh, looks that they don't normally do in any other day of their lives and using the, you know, the Dubai Cup as a, as a day to um, let their peacock come out, so to speak. <laughs> Embrace their inner peacock. Absolutely. Top trends in the Best Dressed Lady competition included colour blocking, lace and structure. And this year there's new rules of elegance to consider. Well, you've got to cover, I think, your shoulders. Um, you can't wear anything strapless. You do need to cover your knees, but not, but not till the ankles. Evelyn McDermott returned to the style stakes to be crowned runner-up, but it was Ireland's Mary Behan who was awarded the coveted title in a demure, conservative look and was a little overwhelmed to win. Tell me, how do you feel to win? You were saying earlier the whole of Ireland is going to be so excited. I'm pretty sure the whole of Ireland is going to find out about this because I am overjoyed. I can't believe it. So if I can't believe it, I don't think anybody else is going to believe it. I'm, I'm absolutely, this has made my life. It's like probably one of those things I will never, ever, ever forget. Taking away a long jeans classic collection watch and awarded most elegant lady was our style queen pick, Anna from Australia, in a poised green ensemble. And for the fifth year running, the guys flaunted their fashion credentials too. Top hats and tails, kilts and colour coordinated socks. It's the one day of the year guys can ooze originality and character. And proving that the dandy is in the details, Marlon Weir was back to lead the male fash pack in sorbet pink. What I love so much is the accessories. The cane is just incredible. Where is the cane from? The cane was actually a gift. I'm um, pretty sure it's an antique. Um, it is a working telescope. And uh, if you see, that bit goes in, comes up there, and it all just goes into like one simple little pack. Flowers, feathers, unicorns, and all eyes were on the finalists of the most creative hat. 
I love the playful creations, and the winner went to a masquerade-style eagle-themed hat, which paid homage to Dubai. And finally, the Best Dressed Couple Award was adjudicated on coordination of ensembles and complimentary finesse. Now, it can be a bit of a matchy-matchy dresses and pocket squares affair, but this year there was a standout winning couple, and it went to those who looked divinely happy in each other's company. You know what I really loved about you guys was because you just look so in love on stage, and I was like, that is the epitome of a beautiful couple. Tell us, tell us about your love story together. Oh, we've been together for 15 years now, so um, we work together as well. So uh, we, we spend a lot of time together, and uh, and we do love the races. We, we, go and we to, are best friends. Yeah, we are exactly. best friends. As well. We're best friends. And dressed for the ultimate success, Prince Bishop raced to the $10 million win, and the legendary World Cup fireworks lit up the sky in an incredible 15-minute display. By then, I don't think anyone really cared what they were wearing, and we certainly couldn't get Kylie out of our heads as she made the whole of Maidan do the locomotion, making it the most memorable date on the social calendar this year. I remember Kylie definitely had me spinning around at Dubai World Cup. Next up, we've got more massive musical moments from 2015.